When I did that last head scan tutorial, I ran into an issue that kind of bugged me. It was the seams in the texture map. Well, with the new version of SynthEyes that just came out a few days ago, there's a fix. First, you need to pack your UV islands so there's a little space. I'll zoom in to show you here in Blender. Just select all your UVs with the A key and then bring up the Pack Islands menu. Then, if you hold down the Shift key for finer control, you can drag out the margins in real time. Finally, you'll need to re-export your head mesh and re-import it into your synthize scene. Now let's re-render that texture map with a new name. I do need an alpha channel for my UV map, but I want to mention that the extract controls all produce an alpha channel, not just average with alpha. This wasn't totally clear to me at first. Just look for the phrase texture extraction mode in the user manual for more on this. And you do need a file format that supports embedded alpha channels, which is why I'm saving TIFFs. If your UV islands are packed with a wide enough margin, you can set the expand value to higher than one pixel, but one is usually just fine. The script is pretty fast, so once it's done, you just need to reassociate the new expanded texture map with the object. I'm told all of this will be integrated in future versions of SynthEyes, but for now, this is a perfectly good fix. I just wanted to cover a few things from that last tutorial and give you something new to look at from the latest version of SynthEyes. I'm working on something big right now, but we'll try to keep these coming. So until next time, thanks for watching.